Ben Russell, and along with Jenny Taylor and David Verbugen, we're going to be your hosts today. Uh, if you haven't met Tradeway before, our organization is designed to help you to think a little bit differently than the rest of the investment world. And our tagline of big goals, small steps really says a lot about what we do. If this is your first time at a Tradeway webinar, can I just say welcome? I'm really, I'm really pleased to be able to, to start to share some things that are not common in the investment world with you so that maybe you can start to think a little differently about this thing called investing. All right, so in the background, I've got Ginny Taylor, who's going to be helping with some of your questions and some of the things that you've got, David Verbugen as well. So, you know, Ginny, I, I tell you what, can we go ahead and get started with that? Just tell our friends quickly, if they've got questions or comments, how do they engage with us? Hello. Uh, yes. So if you guys have, you know, we might ask some questions where we want some feedback um, or you guys just might have comments. We'd love to, for you to put that in chat. And then uh, if you do have questions, uh, please put those in the Q&A because then we'll, we'll see them. Uh, sometimes they might get lost in chat if there's a lot of chats going on. So we look awesome. forward to having you with us today. You know, and Jenny, I want to underscore those questions are really valuable and we have it turned on to where the questions are private. So since we're talking about investing information, those questions can come into us private and we can type you back a private answer. And if it's something that's good, I think, Jenny, you and David are going to be willing to kind of like stop me so we can have some great conversation with our friends along the way. Yes. Okay, well, we'll what are we going to talk about today? Well, it's this thing that we would like to say winning for the long term. Winning for the long term, what does it take? And today we're gonna to be talking with you about two things that Tradeway can provide for you to help you to get those odds more in your favor. This is about the Tradeway long-term education product that David Mitchell and myself created. And if you haven't met David, um, Dave, David's a, an interesting fellow, right? So David's the type of guy who loves to be able to share with people. And, and as you go to a webinar with David or a seminar, it's not uncommon for you to see this quote from David Mitchell. I'm gonna teach you how to play the game. All right, so how do you get the odds better in your favor for how to win in the long term? Well, getting a good coach is one of the best ways because a good coach has got experience. A good coach has learned some difficult lessons that now he can infuse into us. And as we play the game, we can leverage the experience of our coaches, hopefully to have a much better result. All right, so we don't have as many surprises. And we have somebody there to help us to understand where those pitfalls are so that we don't have to fall into them ourselves. So I love this quote. I think it says a lot. David's going to teach us how to play the game. And today we're going to talk about a lot of the things in the playbook that David Mitchell has for long term investing. Now, if you notice at the top, there's a disclaimer. I always want to make sure you understand with as good as what our methodologies are, we are talking about investing in the market. And if there's anything that we know as traders, the market can be unpredictable. It's, it's difficult sometimes to be able to see the unexpected coming. There's no guarantee of success at anything that we do in life related to the market. And what we're going to try to teach you how to do today, <clears throat> get those odds more in your favor so that you have a greater opportunity for success. That's the goal. All right. So winning long term, what does it take? Um, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to talk about an educational product that we have, the long-term investing educational product. We'll have an opportunity at the end of the webinar. If you want to know more about that, you can purchase that product. Um, and if you want someone to do it for you, that's going to be the other course that you can take. At the end of this webinar, I'm going to have a call to action. Your nest eggs, your assets are worth protecting. Your assets are worth trying to win in the long term. And what does it take? we would say it comes down to protection. Really, that's the bottom line. It's about protecting. So if you wanna learn how to protect it on your own, that's what that education product is. And if you want some help with protecting it, well, that's where our service called AMPT, A-M-P-T, comes into play. And we'll help you to do that. What does it really come down to? So whether you do it yourself or whether we do it for you, it's about diversifying. So we're gonna teach you how to diversify or we're gonna diversify for you. We're gonna teach you when to buy or when to sell, or we're gonna buy and sell for you. And then we're gonna teach you when to be defensive. And that's a big part of what we do with helping to protect and preserve assets. All right, so if you haven't met David, just recognize that David has been doing this for a while. I'm gonna be kind, but uh, David is a, uh, an, an individual who has gray hair and in many cultures that is a sign of age and veneration. David's been doing this for a while. 
So as a fourth generation businessman, he was able to grow his skill sets over time because he learned from people like his grandfather. And he tells stories of remembering being a young, you know, kind of a, a grade schooler, hearing his grandfather basically tell investment advisors what to do, not getting advice from them. And I think it's really important to recognize that these skills are generations old. And each time that something changes or shifts in the market, like in the 80s, David started to apply these skills into the options market, not just in the stock and the bond market. So there's experience here that goes back several generations that Coach David is now going to start teaching to us. David was called to preach, right? So, you know, for early days, David was an oil man. David was running the family business. And then God had another plan and tapped him on the shoulder. And now he's not only a businessman, he's now also a full-time preacher. And this is when Tradeways Foundation also got started because it grew out of the family garage into a multi-million dollar business with tens and thousands of students. And then we transitioned in 2016 to become a FINRA registered investment advisory firm. Now, what that means is that we could take these things that David has, and now we can begin to present them as long-term opportunities for our friends just like you. Brothers and sisters in Christ can now begin to learn these same skills that David learned from his family, and now you get an opportunity to learn them too. All right, so at a, at a high level, I'm going to talk a little bit about what you're going to learn today, and um, let's let's just sort of look. I, as adult learners, you guys kind of need to know where we're going. You kind of need to know the roadmap. So let me tell you some of the things that we at Tradeway see from a long-term perspective about some of the things you need to keep in mind, right? That's what this webinar is about. I'm going to be showing you what some of these parameters are so that now you can begin to increase your knowledge in these areas. Markets have cycles. Markets have cycles because everything has a cycle. There's cycles of growth, cycles of rest, cycles of decline, and the market is no different. And what we're going to teach you and show you, it might seem intuitive, we want you to invest in bull or bear cycles and match up with those bull or bear cycles. And as intuitive as what that is to us, I'm telling you, this is not how most investment advisors approach the market. There's lots of reasons why. But just recognize this is not a common approach to investing. Most investment advisors are going to have that buy and hold mentality, and it can be pretty devastating, especially for older investors. Bear markets, you know, if our guides of the past is anything that we can look forward to to potentially project the future, and it is, bear markets, for example, the bear market of 2000, it took over 10 years to get back to even. And unfortunately, history often repeats itself. Friends, from our perspective, from David's perspective as our coach, that 10-year hit to your portfolio is time we cannot afford to lose. So we want to do something different. We do not believe that riding the bear markets to the bottom is a good investment strategy, and we believe that there are times when you should be in something like cash, getting a good rate of return on your cash investment, or lower yield instruments such as bonds or other things of that sort. It really does not make a lot of sense to hold equities through these bear market cycles that often are protracted. All right, so we believe you should trade with a portion of your portfolio, no more than 20%, so that's different than long-term. Uh, many of you are coming to us because you're a part of the Tradeway trading family. All right, so what we're calling out here is there's a difference. We want you to trade 20% of your funds. We often talk about that at step one. But what about your 80% money? How do you invest your 80% money? That's what we're talking about here today. We think preservation of that 80% should be one of your highest goals. We believe you should allow the cycle of the market to determine what positions you're in in your long-term portfolio. Again, this may sound like a duh, especially those of you who are in Tradeway, but this is not common in the investment world. We believe as an investor, you should think like a trader strategically aligning to the trends. They're actually fairly evident. Most of the time, the larger term trend, the, the trend of the market on the larger time frames is usually pretty apparent. So if that's the case, why wouldn't you want to take advantage of it with your long-term money? Well, that would be the, the end of our summary of what it is that David as our coach has created and what I as the, the 
you can call me like your your um your secondary coach. D- David's the head coach. I'm going to be like your defensive line coach, right? So David and I created this material that you're learning today, and it's leveraging David's multi generational experience for us to be able to start teaching this to people just like you. Okay, so I'm going to ask a leading question, David Verbuggen. You're on the line with us. Um, you haven't had a chance to say hello to our friends yet. Hey, everyone. Are there readily apparent trends in the market that that you've kind of seen our AMP clients be able to take advantage of? Yeah, absolutely. You know, our AMP clients, they love that we approach the market as traders. We have the eyes of traders. And so we look at trend lines. We're looking to get in and out of the market as we see appropriately. Um, And, you know, Ben, like you mentioned before, so many of the other firms out there, they have that buy and hold mentality. Right. They, they just put the money in there, leave it in there. And if you look at last year, many of those accounts might have been down 20, 30, maybe even a little bit more than 30 percent. You know, with with um, with our AMPS program, we don't look at it that way. We are in and out of the market. We actively manage your accounts versus passively. Um, we we want to get bullish when the market's bullish. We'll even get bearish. We'll even go into inverse positions when we deem necessary. So um, with that, we've been able to show much better results this last year than what um, you know the average firm out there might have been. Excellent. Well, thank you for that, David. I, I wanted to make sure our friends got a chance to see you as well, because as I mentioned, myself, Jenny Taylor, and David Verbuggen, if you decide to move forward with us helping you to do this thing, uh, we're going to be one of the individuals that's going to make personal contact with you to start answering your questions. So I just wanted you to make sure that you got a chance to see both David and Jenny. And, and of course, you know, I, I'm leaving the webinar, so you're going to get a chance to see me. But one of us is, is going to make an appointment with you to talk through your questions if that's what you would choose to do at the end of the webinar. All right. Well, thank you, David. Appreciate that, sir. All right. So what is it that you're going to get in the course? For those of you who are more of the DIY, those who want to do it yourself, what are you going to learn? Well, you're going to get Tradeway's long-term rules for investing. We're going to talk more and more and show you with some evidence why we think buy and hold is dead. And we're going to leverage longer-term cycles of the market and show you how we do it. Show you how we do it as a part of the AMP program. So if you want to start doing it yourself, this course is actually designed to show you what and how we leverage money in the AMP program. Long-term market tone, well, we're going to talk about that in this course, right? And and we're going to talk about how the market is going to look ahead often more than what we see in the short term. And David does a great job of breaking those things down about what is it that the market's actually looking at that we as investors, longer-term positions, what should we be looking at from a market tone perspective? It's fascinating to sort of see what it is that those longer term cycles look to. And it's often very different than what we look at in our short term trading. We want to talk about how to build a portfolio. So this course, David David talks an awful lot about how he got the, the biblical insight to be able to build diversification. This course talks through it. And if you're an AMP client, we build that diversification for you. We're going to analyze portfolios and allocate capital over time. We suggest you would do the same. We're going to talk about the power of scaled entries. Oh, this is a big one. You know, often people will go all in in the market or all all out of the market. We think that's a mistake, especially during transitionary times. So we're going to talk about how scaling in and out can make an awful lot of sense as a part of that long-term course. Stopouts and bases. You know, it's one thing for you to, to hold and ride the bumps, but man, we really want to avoid the cliffs. How do you do that? Well, our course is going to talk with you about the parameters that we use, that you can use to to help yourself to be able to do that. Measuring ROI over time is a big deal here. You know, so many of us are like, well, what was my ROI today? You know, with a long-term investment program, that's not an appropriate cycle. You're going to you're going to kind of drive yourself a little nuts. So David's going to show us how he measures ROI over time and what's the time frames that he uses in this course. We're going to talk about why trading a small amount of money can be so powerful. And here's the deal. You can do it yourself or our AMP services can do it for you. Kind of challenge you at the beginning. Which one's best for you? Well, you're going to have to figure that one out. Which one's better for you based on your lifestyle? We'll talk more about that as we go. Okay, so entries and exits. Oh, you know what, Jenny? I was going to ask you a question. This this bottom one, right? So I'm trying to call out. Amped, our services can do it for you. Um, with the long-term education, our friends can kind of learn how to do it themselves. Jenny, as a part of our AMP services, 
give me a little bit of an idea. Most of the clients that come to us, why do they want us pressing the buttons for them? Yeah, most of us want us doing it. I mean, mainly because they just don't want to have the the stress and the idea of that they have to constantly be ready and and able to be on their computer to press the buttons at any moment because we send out alerts and, and text messages when it's time to get in and get out. And it, it could literally be any day the market is open. So they literally have to be ready every day. And that's just that's just really difficult for most people, whether whether they're a stay at home mom or they're a surgeon. I mean, it doesn't really matter um, what you do. It's still just that idea of constantly having to be ready to take it to take action. You know, Jenny, it's, so most it's, people go with me. It's so true. This thing called life, L-I-F-E, or this thing called a J-O-B can kind of get in the way, right? So this is our job. As investment advisors managing hundreds of clients and millions of dollars, we are a moment, a breath away from clicking the buttons to be able to change portfolios. And, and we would say that in times where the market is really volatile, you kind of need to have that kind of flexibility. So many of you have that. And if that's the case, then learning how to do it on your own could be a really viable path forward. All right. So thanks for that, Jenny. Let's talk a little bit more about what the long-term basics are. We're going to look at we're going to look at entries and exits, and and what's important is to recognize often the time frame shifts in a long term. Talk about this a lot in our education product. We don't want to just get scared out of the chart based on a daily candle. We really want to look at the weekly charts and see the longer term trends. We're going to be a little less reactive in the long term. We're going to talk about support and resistance areas and how those support and resistance areas on the weekly can really help us to know when we need to make a decision. It's a little different than on the daily. We're going to talk about lower time frames and how to see better entries and exits. But we're also going to talk about how those daily candles come in to kind of give us a, a more detailed picture. So we're going to look at the weekly charts when we're talking about long term, but then we're going to use the daily candles in conjunction with those weekly charts to start making some decisions about what we need to do. We're going to talk about long term options and stock positions. This is different than trading. It's different than trading. When you're trading, often time value comes into play. Often the, the shorter nature of these trades can really affect how you manage. With longer term, we want to be able to leverage things where time is not as much part of the equation. We'll talk about that. And in the AMP program, we leverage longer term options and or stock positions as a part of what we do. Trade sizes, man, this is huge. And, and we try to nail this as a part of our education program because what I find all too often, and you know, I'm, I'm not sure about our friends, but often what I will see is that people kind of go to Vegas. They're like, I'm going to put everything on 13 black. That's not how to that's not how to trade. That's not how to invest. You want to be able to break out your positions and your allocations so that you don't have too many eggs in one basket. And in the course, we talk about five to 20 percent within specific positions, specific sectors. That's a really important thing for you to do as you're building your own long term portfolios. And if we're doing it for you, I'm I'm guaranteeing you we are definitely diversifying you over a lot of different parts of the economy. You need to be willing to let the market move more. I talked about this a little bit, but think through this. You can easily get scared out of a position on days like yesterday where there's a huge move just to see it to come up into resistance and give some more unclear signs. All right, so when it's long term, we're going to be a little slower to react. We're, we're going to let the market move a little bit more because we know often quick moves in one direction will often reverse and go back the other, just like the long term trend said it would. So we're going to be less reactive. Where one should you consider to be less invested? Well, David goes into detail on this. I mean, our coach, David, a lot of experience, a lot of historical information to share. He's going to share with us some of the things that, you know, would, would, would want him to be out of the market. And he has a great section in our long-term training program <clears throat> about the things that we consider to be, excuse me, that would help us to see we need to reduce risk. World news is shifting. Weekly trend starts to turn bearish, Fed's raising interest rates, decreasing the monetary supply, all of these and more are covered, but I wanted you to kind of see at a high level, what are some of the things that we watch that David's taught to us about when we're going to start to get defensive? Defensive. It's really what it's about.
When we've got a raging bull, it's not a time to be defensive. But man, when we're in a market like this where it's less knowable, where, where there is bearish tone, preservation through these times is absolutely vital to your long-term portfolio. That's the tradeway thesis in a nutshell. Okay. So let's talk about these bear markets. Bear markets or when the market's down 20% or more happens every few years. History is going to repeat itself. We know it repeats itself. And we simply believe it does not make sense for you to be positioned with, with, with things like equities, things that only go up as the market goes up in your portfolios during the bear. It does not make sense to us as traders. Traditional advisors, here's the deal. They often don't have the ability to change those funds around. So, so not only do they not have the ability, they really don't want to take the effort of doing it. They don't want to have to try to figure out what's the overall market is doing. So they will often tell you, just buy and hold, it's going to come back. It's going to come back. Okay. I'll be honest with you and tell you the truth is they're typically right. They're typically right. It usually does come back. But what they're not giving you information on is how long. How long did it take to come back? And for us, when we see a long-term trend breaking, that's a good sign that we want to get defensive because we could be facing some really strong moves down. It's not uncommon in a bear market to see declines that could really devastate your portfolio. All right, if the long-term trend breaks, well, you can typically see signature patterns, things like double bottoms and double tops. And when that happens, you can begin to start making decisions about how to ask asset allocate based on those trends. We talk about this in the course and it's something that we do as, as a part of the ANT program that we run. So bear markets happen every few years. And when you start to see strong technical indicators of being in a bear market, why wouldn't you get defensive? Why would you buy and hold? Often the answer is you don't know better. Well, this course is gonna teach you. This course is gonna give you information so that you can know better. And if you want our help, we'll do it for you. All right, so why is it dangerous? I love this slide. Now, this is a little bit of an eye chart. I get it. But I think sometimes, especially as investors and as adult learners, we need some data with which to help start making some informed decisions. This chart from LPL, and um, uh, you know what? It came from FactSet. So the source is LPL Research. Now, this is based on data from um, 2022. So 520 of 2022 was the last time this chart was updated. Now. Notice that the last bear market it has on here is 2020. I think we're in a bear market right now. Why would we not have the current bear market on here? Well, because what this chart is showing you is how long did the bear market last? How much did that bear market decline? And then how long did it take to recover? We are still in the middle of a bear market. We don't know how long this bear market has lasted. We don't know how much this bear market's gone down. And we don't know how long it's going to take for this bear market to recover. So let's go back and look at the past. Let's see what might this current bear market cycle have in store for us. Now, I'm going to call out some big numbers here. Take a look at what happened in the 2008 crash, right? So it started the peak 2007. And then all the way through 2009, it declined. So for 17 months, the market was moving down. You think at some point during 17 months, you might've gotten a clue that you shouldn't be as heavily invested as what you are? Oh, what do I mean by getting defensive? Well, our course is gonna cover it. I've kind of briefly talked about it with you. There are some very good ways for you to quote unquote, go to cash. Now, depending on your broker, you'll have different options going to cash. Uh, for us inside of AMP, when we go to cash, we actually have access to a money market fund that's currently paying 3.83% interest on your funds as they are deposited. So when we say go to cash for us at Interactive Brokers, that would mean going into a money market fund where you're actually still getting some interest on your funds when they're not invested in equities. That's what we mean by going to cash. And then another way that you can get defensive is by buying into things that are more stable. So things like gold and silver, maybe some bonds. Getting defensive means getting out of the equities that really only make money as the market typically is moving out. So that's a great question there. I, I'm sorry, um, Mr. Lozano. I, I won't try your first name. Thank you for that question there, Mr. Lozano. Okay, 
So let's continue on here. What are we seeing here as far as a trend and a pattern? We can see some, some summaries, all bear markets, right? So there's been 11 bear markets on this chart since the 50s. What? Since the 50s, there's been 11 bear markets? Wow. I'm sorry, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's been 15 bear markets since the 50s. We're in the 16th bear market right now. 16 bear markets. Wow, okay. All right, so they don't happen like every year, but they happen every few years. You think maybe you might want your long-term investment strategy to, to have that in mind? All right, so all bear markets, how much, how long on average did they last? 11 months, that's what that number right there means. So on average, a bear market is at least 11 months long. And when the market's gone down more than 22%, those bear markets have been at least 14 months long. And if it doesn't get to 22%, they only last seven months. All right, so I mean, that gives us a little bit of data to be able to start to think about this are we moving into a recession? What do you think? Have you, have you guys been watching the headlines? What do you think? Type into the chat window for me. Those of you who have been with us for a while, I mean, and even if you're a brand new student, give me some feedback. Oh, Marie, you're saying we're in one already. I, I think we got more economic pain coming. All right, so if that's the case, if we have more economic pain coming, if we actually do move into a recession, this data historically tells us we're going to expect at least 14 months to decline. We're only about 12 months into this current bear market. Expecting more declines, and, and the averages say uh, to expect up to a 37% decline from peak to trough. I don't know that we're done going down yet, friends, is really what I'm trying to get you to see from this. And I want you to, I want you to think through this. Either get the skills to do it yourself or let us help you with it because your nest eggs are worth protecting. I don't think buying and holding in this environment is, is a smart way for you to protect the assets that God has given to you. All right, so since there is that constant struggle, why not leverage those cycles in the economy? And, and while markets have these cycles of decline, you gotta recognize it's actually healthy, right? It's nothing can grow forever. There has to be cycles of rest. But if we know that, why shouldn't we position ourselves for it? Most investment advisors just assume the market's always going to move up. Now, that's the tendency. The moving up is the tendency. But when it's moving down in a concerted way, we've gotten data that we can point to, like I just showed you on the last slide, that says maybe I need to get defensive and not just write it to the bottom. We want you to align your investing philosophy, your investing style with those long-term trends. Tradeway suggests that you should be in line with those cycles, and we genuinely believe that buy and hold is dead. So buy and hold can be absolutely devastating to your portfolios. Now, I remember from my own history, I remember being involved in bear market cycles before I was a Tradeway student and before I became a Tradeway coach. I lost an awful lot of money in the tech crash. Am I the only one? I mean, are, are there other older investors out there that remember the pain of the 50% declines that we saw in the 2008 markets, friends, that takes years to recover from. Why would you go through that again? And how many of those sorts of cycles are you going to live through as, as a trader and as an investor? Get some skills, learn how this works, or get some help from people like us so that doesn't have to be you. All right, so Jenny, I'm gonna ask you for your, for your help here. Um, Let's, let's talk a little bit about how David, you know, as our coach, where did he get some of this information from? He, he got it from the Bible. So let's, let's go read a Bible verse. Accidentally, um, there you my are. screen like super small somehow for Zoom. Okay, I'm going to try to, oh, wait, I think I figured it out. Sorry about that, guys. Um, okay, sorry. Go to now ye that, Ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time 
and then vanisheth away. And that's from James 4, 13 and 14. All right. Well, that's that's uh, so David Mitchell loves the King James version of the Bible. It's it's what he knows. And sometimes that language can be a little more difficult, especially if we're reading it. But what is this really talking about? Life is short. Life is unpredictable. And you're going to go through several of these cycles in your short and unpredictable lifetime. If if scripture tells us to expect the unpredictable and be prepared for it, why would you not do that with your portfolio? I mean, uh, so many of us, God has given us assets as, as, as gifts, as, as provision for us and our families. Why would we not take the effort that it takes to protect those assets? And so many of us, we just give it to a financial advisor who doesn't care about it the same way that we do. Life is short. It's unpredictable. Let's leverage God's admonishment to us, and let's be prepared for that unpredictability. Hey, David, let's let's talk about another verse here. Can you read this one for me? Absolutely. Um, Ecclesiastes 11, 1 and 2 says, Cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Give a portion to seven, and also to eight, for thou knowest not what evil shall be upon the earth. Oh, that's a great verse. And, and really, if you look at it, it's it's talking about diversification. And for our, our long-term investing program and for what we do inside of AMP, we've got seven major categories, yay eight, that we're going to either teach you how to leverage or that we leverage with you in our AMP program. And it comes straight from scripture. I, I will often say, you know, we've, we've heard, don't put all your eggs in one basket, right? Um, I think that's an Aesop's fable. Well, you know, Aesop didn't get it originally from himself. I mean, we got that straight here from Ecclesiastes. This is Solomon speaking, and Solomon got his wisdom from God. So if God is telling us that we want to be diversified, I think we probably want to take the maker's advice. So that's what we do inside the AMP program. And so much of what you see that Coach David has built is based straight from Scripture. So good stuff. Thank you, guys. Appreciate your help there. So this diversification, and oh, I love this picture too, by the way. Um, this young man reading the uh, the well-worn family Bible, right? So when we look at these concepts of diversification, these seven areas that we talk about are things that you know, but we're going to break into these areas in our course and show you why we think you should be diversified across these sections. And notice that eighth category down there at the bottom. We do want you short-term trading with a portion of your funds. All right, so risk tolerance also affects these allocations. Now, this is a direct tie into what we do inside the AMPT program. When you meet with myself, you meet with Jenny, or you meet with David, we're actually going to talk with you about your risk tolerance. You know, age, when you need the funds, um, your pit of the stomach feeling when the market makes moves, right? All of those things and more goes into determining your risk tolerance. And if you're doing it on your own, our course talks about risk tolerance as well so that you can begin to make some of your own decisions. All right, so when it comes to making the choices on where to invest the funds, we're going to leverage that diversification that we just talked about. But here's something that I want to give you. This is a nugget. This is something we teach in the course. I want you to catch this because this is counterintuitive with most investment advisors. We want you to allocate a higher weight of your money, not on the industries that are doing poorly, not on the ones that are at the bottom of, of the market, not on the ones that have been really beaten up. We want you to go with the ones that are doing well. Well, Ben, that seems counterintuitive. Wouldn't I want to buy it when it's low? Well, sure. But how do you know you're not buying it and it's still going to go down, 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 down? If you think like a trader, things that are doing well have a tendency to continue to do well. And then we're going to teach you to follow the trends so that you know when maybe that's starting to roll over. This one, this is a nugget, I'm telling you, because almost every investment advisor is going to have the opposite perspective. They're going to want to go try to bottom fish. They're going to want to go try to find the stuff that's on the bottom. David's like, that's a mistake. Coach David, the guy that's been doing this for a long time, says your higher probability setups, your higher probability for investing is to buy into the sectors of the economy that are doing well, because they're likely going to continue to do well. Buy strength not weakness. All right, so that's a huge takeaway. Many of you probably are thinking the other way. You want to go buy stuff when it's cheap. It might be cheap for a reason. All right, so David believes it's wise to consider all these various sectors of the economy. And, and as you start thinking about sectors of the economy, blend across those. 
blend across them and recognize that there are different cycles. With longer term funds, we suggest being in more positions, perhaps in all the sectors. Maybe not fully allocated as much in one sector or the other because it's doing poorly, but being allocated in the sectors lets you take advantage of the various changes in the economy. We do that for you in the AMP program or we show you how to do it in the, um, the long-term education program. Um, here's my, my shameless plug. Many of you are gonna want our help, that's fine. That's fine, that's what we're here for. Our AMP program is gonna do it for you. And hey, hey Jenny, can I ask you a question here? So Jenny, you yes, and I are, we're, we're often the ones helping to rebalance the portfolios. How yeah. long does it take for us to, to manage a couple of hundred clients and um, several million dollars? How, how, how difficult is it for us to allocate those funds? The software makes it very easy. It's just a matter of, of like about five or six clicks of a button and we can get into two different stocks or could be like 20. doesn't really matter how many, it, it's just how the software works. So it's, it's a matter of just probably 20 to 30 seconds. So we're constantly watching the market. We're constantly trying to help our friends and our clients to be able to, to leverage the information like what we're sharing here today. And if that sounds good to you, at the end of this webinar, I'm going to give you an opportunity to have that private consultation with David, Jenny, or myself. All right, so changing allocations is easy with the right tools. So that's what Jenny and I just talked about. We have the right tools. Now, if you're going to do it yourself, it will be a little bit more difficult because most of the time, the tools like what we're leveraging as investment advisors are not available to you as a normal everyday investor. But you can still do it yourself. Go buy a percentage of, of the various sectors that we're gonna teach you. Go put 5% in energy, go put 5% in gold and silver, go put 8% inside the consumer um, cyclicals, right? You've got the capabilities of doing this on your own as well. All right, so what time frames? Longer term, I told, it, told you earlier, but I, I just want you to, this is huge, I want you to think about this. Weekly charts and daily charts, that's a big part of what we're looking at. Those time frames are important for the stop outs. Just think through this on a US traders. Sometimes you might break the 20 day moving average and you're like, I'm out. We'll often leverage that 20 week moving average for us to kind of know how to make our decisions in investing. 20 week moving average is a big part of what we use in our programs and what we teach you how in this long term education program to start thinking about your investments. Um, one are uh, the investment strategies that we're using here. It's because of the way in which we're leveraging those 20 week moving averages and some of the other te the technical charts on the weekly. It does help us to ride the bumps. You know, on a daily chart, you might get scared out, but by leveraging these weekly charts, it helps us to ride those bumps in the road. Um, if you do see a break, you know, something like that 20 day break, that 20 week break, you might start to see signs that you want to get more defensive. In the course, I'm going to show you examples straight from charts. Uh, I'm going to show you things that would would be a a trend change that we as the as the group of traders that are helping to manage funds, we would say it would be worth for you to consider getting defensive and and, and answering the question that we had earlier going to cash going into a money market that pays you an interest rate, going into things like gold or silver or other less risky assets would be a great way of you potentially preserving your wealth. Changing allocations is easy with the right tools. I think that that's a repeat. I apologize there, I didn't catch that. But it is, it's easy to change when you got the right tools. Stop outs and bases, man. Jenny, I, I, I have a lot in the course on this, so I want our friends to recognize there is a rhythm in the market. There's this wave-like pattern, but inside that trend, we can often see horizontal bases forming. I've got charts that shows you how to look at this so you can begin to start to set your own understanding of these horizontal bases. And when you begin to see those horizontal bases, it's going to help you to know when maybe I just need to let this thing ride a bit. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. When we start to see this pattern break, when you see the volatility start to get extreme, it can help you to begin to see when maybe you want to get out of this market and when you want to get defensive. And it's all about these longer term waves and cycles and patterns, and I'm going to teach you how to look at it. 
we're going to zoom out. We're going to see those longer term bases and we're going to be patient with them. Going to cash during those can really save your portfolio, however, if you see that you've broken a pattern. So here's the summary of what it is that I'm going to teach in the course. Here's a summary of what we do in the AMP program. We have patience in a trend. We're apt to not just get scared out on it on a move. We're going to look at news. We're going to look forward and what is the economy looking at longer term? We're not just going to get scared out. We're going to take decisive action, however, when we see a break of that longer term trend and when we see those bases breaking, that's when we're going to get defensive. That's what we're going to teach you how to do, or that's what we do for you with the AMP program. All right, so I think you've heard throughout this entire webinar, I'm trying really hard to help you to see, I want you to take some action. I mean, today is all about me kind of telling you there's some dangerous things happening in the market. It happens every few years, and I want you to take action. Are you ready to apply David's principles? Well, we've got, we've got two paths for you. It's the DIY, the do-it-yourself path. You want Tradeways long-term education? It's available to you. You can buy that long-term education product and you can learn how Tradeway manages money and how David has taught us and what we do in Tradeway to be able to manage money. And then there's some of you are like, you know what? I'd really rather you do it. That's great. That's what AMP services are all about. A-M-P-T, Assisted Managed Portfolios by Tradeway. It's all about how we do long-term portfolios and the diversification that I've shown you that we use throughout this entire webinar. That's how we manage money. The long-term education product is going to come through your learn.tradeway.com portal. Now, when you buy this, this isn't like a subscription. This is your product for life. It shows up in your portal and you can leverage it and look at it as many times as you want. And in the future, when we update the product, you get the updates to that product. Now, what about our services? Well, our services make it click button simple for us to do the work for you. So the what? I think you really need to consider doing it yourself or letting us do it for you. The how, buy the product, or join our click button simple services. Now, Jenny, we, we talk about this with our friends, but you know, maybe give me a little bit of an idea. What are some of the things, when you have a consult with people, what are some of the things that you ask them about when it comes to risk tolerances? Because we need to know their risk tolerance, right? What are some of the things that come into risk tolerance when you're having your conversations? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, the general, their age, um, like, you know, I guess how much risk are they comfortable with? Um, but one of the things that I really tend to talk about is the fact that because we don't buy and hold and hold through bear market crashes that the general risk tolerance that are in the industry, they don't, I mean, it applies, but it doesn't particularly apply because we can have people that are closer to retirement age or retired actually be in an aggressive portfolio because we're not going to be holding through 20 to, you know, 20 to 50% drops in the overall market. So they're not going to be risking losing like half of a portfolio because we're not going to be holding through those major, major corrections like that. So that's, that tends to be where the conversation drifts. Um, and still, even then some people will be like, well, no, I don't really want to go quite that far, but they, they might go with like a growth or even a, a balanced portfolio. Yeah. You know, Jenny, that's such a great call out because we are different than most investment advisors. A lot of our clients do come in with a, a more risk oriented mindset because they recognize mm -hmm. that in a traditional investment portfolio, buy and hold you probably want to be more conservative with your long-term funds. So what yeah. we're trying to get people to recognize is that because we don't buy and hold, you can often want to be a little more aggressive with your funds. Put more into the market when we're in a bull. Take money out of the market when we're in a bear. And it's actually a huge part of creating diversification. Not the way that diversification where the, the, the traditional investment advisor would think about it, but we're going to diversify timeframes as well. A very different approach. So thanks, Jenny. I appreciate you sharing that. And, you know, our friends might have a chance to talk with you and hear that conversation for themselves. So thank you for that. All right. Using technology from your broker makes making the changes more simplistic. And we're going to teach you in the program why we think you should leverage something called an ETF product. Now, an ETF, if you haven't heard about it, it's very different than a mutual fund. 
It's very different than a mutual fund. Hey, hey, David, I'm going to ask you a question here, if you don't mind. David, a mutual fund. When can you sell a mutual fund? Not when you want to. <laughs> I'll put it that way. You, if you decide you're going to sell a mutual fund, um, they'll they'll say, okay, great, we'll let you do that. At the end of the day, wow. and so you 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 guys have you know if you're following the market at all, you've seen several times over the last year where the market's been down a hundred points or even more. Uh, I think I saw 150 points one time uh, in just one day. And so if you start seeing, you know, maybe it's a Friday or something like that, you start seeing, oh man, it's down 60 points already. Oof, I want to get out. Well, you know, if, if you're in stocks or ETFs, kind of like what we like to work with in the AMP program, you can get out immediately. But if it's a mutual fund, you're going to ride that all the way down to the end of the day, and then they'll let you out. So we're not a big fan of mutual funds. Yeah. You know, David, it's a great call out because the buy and hold mentality doesn't matter, right? They're not looking to sell. They're just like, hey, I'm going to buy as I can. Well, we're really interested in letting our technology and the allocations in ETFs and straight stocks be how we can actually have this more trading-oriented mindset about our investing. And our technology, as we've talked about, makes it really easy for us to get in and out. So why would you buy and hold? And guess what? If you've got the right technology backing you up, like if you've got a, a trading account or an investing account at, at, at a broker where you can get in and out of positions, you can do it too. And our product is going to show you ETFs is how we suggest you should take advantage of the different cycles in the economy, as well as the different sectors of the economy. So buying and holding and mutual funds, man, it's just it's how a lot of investment companies make their money. We would suggest that's probably not how you as somebody who knows better should be investing your funds. All right. So why? Well, it's designed for our team to help you. Right. If you become a part of the AMP program that. The service is designed to help you to protect your assets because we've proven how dangerous buy and hold can be. And if you want to do it yourself, well, click the link in the chat. Jenny, David, can one of you please post the link in the chat? I want our friends to know if they would like to purchase the long-term investing program and learn how to do it themselves, right? There's the link. You can click on that link. And as you click on the link, let me just show you what's going to happen. Um, you click on the link and it's going to bring up the product purchase page. Let me walk you through what this is. This is a launch discount. We are, it's normally a, a, a $997 product. If you think about the impact this can have to your long-term portfolio over the years, that is an extremely small price for you to pay to get the knowledge for how to help protect your assets. But you know, Trevor, we're going to give you a great discount. Right, so the launch discount today, this coupon takes $500 off of it. So if you pay for it today on a credit card, it's $497 is your final payment. And again, I'm going to ask you, how much money could you potentially save by leveraging Coach David's long-term investing skills on your portfolio? This is a small price to pay to learn from someone like David, to, to learn from me the things that we've been able to put in from a technology perspective in it, hear from Coach David, hear from me, Coach Ben on how we would suggest that you help protect your long-term portfolio. All right, so that link is there for you to be able to take those next steps. Um, if you're watching this recording after the fact, you can email us at support at tradeway.com asking for that link. Okay, so for those of you who are here live, I already know a lot of you are like, Ben, I want your help. Ben, I, I, I want you, Jenny, David, Mitchell, David, I, I want you guys to help me to do this. What does that look like? Well, Jenny, can you please bring up the poll? Here's what it looks like. For those of you who would like to be able to communicate directly with Jenny, myself, with David, the poll that I just put up on the screen is how you can tell us that you want us to get back with you. When you click on one of the answers here, it's going to be your way, those of you who are here live, telling us that you would like for one of us to get back with you. What does that look like? We're going to send you an email with a scheduling link to schedule a personal and private AMP consultation, a private one-on-one -on -one for us to be able to talk with you about how can we be a part of helping to assist you with your assets. It's not a sales call. This is a consult, a consult with a financial advisor to help you to begin to think about what do you need to think through when it comes to your long-term game plan. Do you have a plan for 2023? Do, do you have a, an idea about how you would position your portfolio if, if we aren't done with this bear market and we have further declines coming? 
If you want somebody who can have that conversation with you, that's what this is designed to do. Um, I, can, I can already see that some people are figuring out that the very first answer to the poll question is if you're on our webinar today and you are already an AMP client, I would love to hear that. Right? If, if you're already one of our AMP clients, let us know that. That's the very first answer. But if you're a brand new AMP client and you're looking to maybe get some help, let us know about how much you're looking to bring in for us to help you to protect. And the reason why we're doing that, it helps David, Ginny, and myself be prepared to talk with you about how Tradeway will be charging you for the help. This is not a free service. There are fees associated with it, but we offer substantial discounts as well, right? So if you want that private consultation, please do let us know that. Okay, well, we're coming up towards the end of our webinar. And, and as I look here, I actually see not a lot of my friends have answered these questions. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask a couple leading questions. Is there any questions that you all have for us now about AMP or the long-term education? What questions do we have that we need to, to go a little deeper in? Um, if you want to know a little bit more about the program, um, if you're an existing client, you can go ahead and click that box. We'll send you a copy of this replay link. If you're a brand new client, give us an idea about how much money you may want to bring into the program. Hey, David, I'm going to ask you a leading question here. Often our friends will ask, well, what kind of money can you help us with managing with AMP? What, what kind of funds are we typically talking about? Yeah, Ben, there's a variety of um, different accounts that we can help with, IRAs, 401ks, um, just individual cash accounts. Um, there, there's a ton of different types of accounts that um, uh, we can transfer over to Interactive Brokers, um, and they're the custodian that we use. Um, so, you know, just let us know what you got, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll let you know how we can help you. Perfect. It's a great comment there, David. And, and you said this word 401k. Let me, let me kind of extend a little bit on that. Mm -hmm. Often 401ks are really limited. Let me, be, let me be polite. They're often really limited in what you can do. And some of the things that we're talking about in this program are often more difficult to do inside a 401k. So what a lot of our friends will do is they will ask their benefits administrator, how much can I roll over to an IRA? And David, once they can roll over to an IRA, can we help them then? Absolutely. Yeah. If they're able to roll over any of those funds to a qualified retirement plan, usually an IRA, then that makes it very easy for us to help them. And, and we've done we've done so many of those, you know, so many times we've helped people with uh, transfer over 401ks or previous employers, or sometimes even some funds from the current employer if they allow you to do so. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we love to help in that way. And, and those are those have become for, you know, if they can do the transfer over easy peasy. Excellent. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and close that poll down. Let's uh, continue on here. For those of you who are watching the recording, if you are watching the recording and you did not get a chance to answer the poll question because you weren't live, you can visit us at www.tradeway.com forward slash AMPT, A -M -P -T, and you can schedule a consultation as well. So if you want to make the purchase of the product and learn how to do it yourself, email us at support at tradeway.com. If you want to be able to, to schedule a consult with one of us, just go out to our website at forward slash amped and you can sign up for a consultation there. Those are your next steps, friends. All right, so let's close this out. I think you can see, we strongly believe that there is great power in approaching the long-term market with a perspective that avoids the traps of buy and hold. We believe it's a trap. We believe it's better for the institutions. We believe it's better for the investment advisors. We believe it's better for the people that make money off of you being in the market to be in the market and buy and hold. And we think you can avoid that trap. Let us teach you how. Why not be more actively engaged? There's apparent cycles in the market. It just makes sense to us as traders. Technology is making it easier. I mean, think through this. So often it's, it's, it's been difficult to make the changes. It's not difficult anymore. The technology makes it easy. So why not? Why not leverage the technology? When was the last time you heard a financial advisor talk with you about investing with a trader's mindset? Maybe I should ask a more blunt question. How many of you don't even have access to a financial advisor? 
Usually you got to have a lot of zeros behind your name. With as little as $8,000, you can be a part of the AMP program. Tradeway's AMP system, well, it's all about being more data-driven, less emotional. We aim to preserve your wealth by what David says, amping up, right? It's definitely a pun. Our AMPT, AMPT program, we're trying to figure out how to help you to potentially get those larger returns. Now that's over time, right? We're gonna help you to avoid those bear market cycles so that when the next bull comes, you got more of your assets ready for those huge historical returns we see during historical bull markets. Preserve through the bear and get ready to pounce on the bull. AMPT incorporates all sorts of biblical wisdom straight from David, straight from scripture. And we're going to begin to see how to leverage those biblical mindsets, biblical wisdom admonitions for us to be able to know when to potentially get back in the market. So we genuinely believe at Tradeway, your nest egg is worth protecting. Do you? Do you believe your nest egg is worth protecting? Take next steps, friends. Thank you for being here. If you think your nest egg is worth protecting, consider buying our long-term education program or consider getting involved in the AMP program. Okay. Well, Jenny, David, we're at the end of our presentation. Really appreciate you both being on with us. Is there any final questions or anything that came into the chat box that we need to address before we say goodbye to our friends? Looks good to me, Ben. I, I think I would just say, if you guys have more questions about the long-term education, you can also, um, I, I just say, just email amped at tradeway.com because then one of us can can answer those questions about the education itself if you're if you have more questions about that that's about, that's all i would say perfect okay well i see lots of our friends saying thanks for being here i i, I want to say thank you i mean genuinely we're grateful that you spend your time with us we do this because we feel like we are a part of a mission the mission that we have is to help people just like you to think differently than what the world would have you to think the world is taking advantage of people who don't have skill sets. We simply want you to have the skill sets so that, so that you can preserve the things that God's given to you. And we genuinely believe that it's going to make a huge difference to you and your family and your legacy if you do not have to ride through these bear markets. It's a huge part of David's thesis. Our coach, he wants you to learn how to not allow this to be what happens to you in these huge crashes. So thanks for being here. Thanks for being a part of Tradeway. I look forward to seeing you soon.